Hey, thanks for joining me for another third Thursday video where I am going to show you how I have organized and styled our sock and undie drawers for me and for my husband. So come on into my closet and check it out. Hi, I'm Paige Killian and I'm passionate about helping busy moms of littles get organized in three simple steps. So here's today's organization motivation. First, I wanna tell you about the containers that I chose. I love these clear acrylic containers from the container store and I have a couple different sizes. I have a larger one for those larger undies and I have a smaller one for the smaller ones. All right, one thing that I wanna say and make very clear is that if you feel like you are sort of getting painted into a corner with the size of your drawers because you found containers that you like but they don't fit perfectly, a couple things rotate them different ways. I found that if I put these this direction and then had these shorter ones go this direction that they fit a whole lot better. And additionally, don't feel like you have to have containers in every square inch of the drawer or the space you're organizing every single time because some of these things I just decided, I'm gonna tell you about in a sec, I just decided that they made more sense outside of the container. So a little bit of, of thought there on something that I've learned as an organizer. I've found that sometimes I get stressed out by the sizes and the measurements of the drawer and I realize sometimes just not everything has to have a container. So when I chose these, I did keep that in mind and the size of the items that were going in. Now I have to tell you too, another thing I've learned is that the reason I like to contain these things is because of two reasons. One, it looks aesthetically pleasing. It looks nice and organized. But two, because when you choose to organize things and group them in like categories, you can see what you have at a glance. And you can also see maybe what you're missing and what you need. So I will show you, this is what I've done for these. I decided instead of folding them, which you totally can do, you know, if you, if you start off doing something one way, that doesn't mean you have to stick with that the whole time. I may choose in the future to individually fold these, but what I've learned is when I'm doing laundry, the best way to handle my undies and even my kiddos, and I'll show you what I did with my husband's later, is just to lay them flat and make a stack. And the reason for that is so that if I fold them all neatly and nicely, and then I transfer them from downstairs to upstairs, the laundry room or the couch or the bed, wherever I'm folding, back into here by the time i get here sometimes they've slid around and they're not folding folded anymore so it's kind of like creating double work for yourself if you're having to refold once you even get to that location so it made the most sense for me to get this larger container and just lay them flat um, again as i said these are for the smaller ones i just grouped in like colors i have the black and i have the nude and some white ones under here and those are just the thongs Gotta say, never thought my underwear would be on the internet. <laughs> Did not see that one coming, but here we are. Okay, I also grouped my white and light socks together and my black socks together. And then back here where I opted out of having the container was for some of my thicker holiday socks that I wasn't grabbing all the time. They don't need to be as easily accessible. So I'm able to put them back here. I can either pull them out this way or I can simply take out this drawer and get out the pair that I need, easy peasy. So I did those also, not just holiday socks, but also just like taller, thicker socks that I only wear with big boots. So I just don't need those year round. These are the ones that I'm using all the time. So keep that in mind when you're organizing. If you're not grabbing something as often, that can go near the back and whatever you are using the most, make sure it's easily accessible a lot of times with open containers. All right, so that's how I've done mine. Very similarly, I did my husband's. If you wanna check out what I did for him, now I need to take a note from his book because, but well, I don't think that's how it goes. I need to take a page from his book because he's very good at incorporating color into his wardrobe. I tend to just wear a lot of black and white. But as you can see, my sweet little videographer here will show you that we've got lots of color going on. So I did his colorful uh, dress socks up on top and I just took two more of these containers and this is what his underwear goes in. And I'll show you with his, I said with mine, I just laid them flat with his. 
they're a little bigger than mine, thankfully. And so with his, I just folded them into fourths. So fold it in half and then fold it in half again. And then you're gonna place it according to whatever container size you have. So sometimes, similarly with socks where they have that heel part where they can be a little bunchier if you're rolling them, and I'll show you how I rolled these soon, what you wanna do is you can flip flop them. So if, for example, on one edge there's more material, then you may wanna lay this one this way and then alternate and the next one this way. So just kind of play with it, folding and base that on whatever container you're gonna be putting in so it's laying flat. So that's how I did this. I'm gonna actually show you here, I have a funny story. I'm gonna show you how I folded this, but I gotta tell you what I did. I was at H&M the other day and you know, they get you in the line. So you go and you actually purchase, you know, in the line, standing in the line to purchase what you need, but I found some cute little things in the bins. You know, it's kind of like the grocery store at the edge of the market. You go in while you're standing waiting in line, you start buying magazines and candy bars. That's what I did with these. This is my impulse buy, but I actually needed it. I saw a pair of socks. There's, I think it was a set of three and they had little black and white and gray socks, ankle socks. I was like, oh, perfect. I need some of those. Great, I'm gonna get this pack of three. I get them home, I open them up and I realize they are, uh, boys size soccer socks, but these just so happened to fit me perfectly. And I scored with the husband and the kids cause I had cool soccer socks. So funny, but it happens. I want to show you how I fold these, roll them up. Doesn't have to be perfect, but you just want to get them generally matching with the heel sticking out. I roll them up like this, and then you're left with two different uh, openings. You take the outside opening and pull it around the underside and you have kind of like a little sock pocket. So that is how I fold those. My husband's a little bigger than mine and I did the exact same thing. So as you can see, oh wait, I'm going to show you with this cute set here. I found this cute little online company that takes your kids' faces or your dog's faces and I sent their photos in and they put them on socks. And so we gave these to him for Father's Day. So I do the same thing again, basically you're just generally lining it up and then you fold from the toe all the way up to the top. Don't worry about that heel that sticks out. It's okay if it's a little bulkier on one side because the idea is you're just wrapping it up. You're taking that outside opening and covering it up like that. So very easy to transfer up and down the stairs whenever you're going from one place to another. You just throw it in the laundry basket. When you come up, you kind of drop them all in here. I'll show you one more drawer because he has lots of additional socks here. If you want to take a look, these are some of his taller socks that he wears like he's playing basketball or working out. And then he's got some smaller ones where they, maybe he wants to use these for like if he's like riding the Peloton or something. And it's that same idea where you're rolling it up and I've grouped these in like categories. So whenever he is ready to get a sock, depending on what activity he's doing, he will know which ones to go to. And now this is helpful for me too, because whenever I get ready to do laundry, I can glance at his drawers and see, oh, he's out of these socks and he's going to need some of these this week and so i'll know i need to go do laundry and make sure i've got all the like socks and undies and so i'll make sure i put those back we had a couple of additional ones and these are some of his gator masks that he uses when he goes fishing and then back here these are some of his suspenders he has these but they're really not used very often and so those don't have to be as easily accessible they're back there but again you just got containers that are easy to pop out and get what you need. And remember, make sure anything that you're organizing, what is your style? It doesn't have to look like anyone else's. And you can pivot, you can change it up. You might decide you wanna organize something in one way, and then actually it turns out it's gonna work better if you fold something differently or grab another container. So don't be sort of stuck in what you picked first if you need to pivot. Don't be afraid to do that because you just want to make sure your items are contained and grouped together in like categories. This will be helpful for you, I hope. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will talk to you next month on the next Third Thursday. Hey, thanks for watching this video. 
for more resources to organize and style your busy life in three simple steps, head over to everythingwithstyle.com and connect with me on Instagram at everythingwithstylemom. Don't forget to check out the Mom's Organization Motivation Podcast over on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, any of your favorite platforms. And if you loved this video, it would make me so happy if you would subscribe and share it with your friends. Thanks so much for watching and happy organizing.